Hi, my name is Arnon Roseanne, and I'm president and CEO of Garrison Flight Control. Today, I'm here on the west coast of Florida, on the area on the Gulf Coast that was hit pretty hard by the recent hurricanes. And I'm going to show you how to install a hammerhead flood blank system. Here I am getting ready to install the first plank, which is the most important plank on a hammerhead system. The bottom plank, as it's called, has a larger and thicker seal, and that's designed to handle the contours of the ground below. It's really important not to mix up the bottom plank and the planks that go above it, which have much smaller seals that are only designed to steal the planks to each other. So if you look now, I'm gonna take this plank, you simply align it with the channel, position it, and slowly let that plank drop down in size. And once that plank is in, you're gonna to wanna to confirm that the ground is level as if you're making a good seal. Now we're getting ready to install the second plank. Now you'll notice the second plank has two smaller seals versus the thicker seal on the bottom plank. These are designed to connect the plank to each other. At we watch, we're gonna use the same method of slotting this plank in. I gently lower that into place, make sure it's secure, and that's a go. Now we're gonna install the other three planks here and talk a little bit about how to secure them once they've been installed. Once you've installed your planks, the next step is finger tightening the bolts in order to push the planks against the back seal and straightening the planks relative to each other. This is an important step to get the planks aligned and ready to be installed and tightened down proper. Once you've completed finger tightening the bolts, you insert the top cap into position, that's designed to tension the planks to each other, and you start finger tightening that down as well. Once you've got it tight against the top of the top plank, you're gonna start using the Allen wrench to pressure the planks down into the ground and into each other. You'll notice it takes quite a number of cranks in order to start tensioning those planks to each other. You're gonna want that quite tight, but you're not gonna to wanna to over tighten that. At some point, you can strip that bolt, so you want to try and tension it without over-tensioning it. Once the top cap has been placed and tensioned down, begin to use the Allen wrench and go up from the bottom, bolt to bolt, tensioning the plank against the seal in the back. As you begin to tension these bolts, it will start to compress the seal in the back and it will begin to release the bolts that you've already tightened. So it takes several rounds going up and down through the bolts in order to properly tighten these bolts. So even though you feel as though you've tightened a single bolt, as far as it'll go, once you've tightened the adjacent bolts, you're gonna find that you can go back and re-tighten it. This is a process that takes several minutes as you go up, down, up and down until you've tensioned all bolts several times. If you'll notice, that bottom bolt needed to be tensioned again, and so did all of the other bolts. Now that we've tensioned down the bolts, after inserting the plank and putting the top caps in, you should be secure and ready to go for the next flood. Keep in mind, nothing is an absolutely perfect seal, so it's always good to confirm that you've got this solidly on the ground, and if you need to use a little bit of what we call peel and seal, just to give a little extra security and an extra peace of mind before a storm comes, that's something we always recommend. 